Hey, this is Greg Dooley back for another short edition of the M. Vickers History Show. And this one was prompted by a, some information I got based on a recent video called The Love of Beer, For the Love of Beer. And that was a story that I'll briefly recap here, but it involved a superstar at Michigan back in 1902, football track and baseball star. And in one of his last baseball games, an ad uh, paid for by a beer company showed up in the Cornell, Michigan game program. And we know that because of the back and forth and a couple letters that were sent. But what I had never seen before, uh, since about 10 years I wrote this story, I, I've always stated that, you know, I never actually seen the ad that prompted this back and forth of, the, of, a, of a couple letters that I want to talk about. But today, the, the, my friends at the U of M Bentley Historical Library actually sent me a copy of the ad that started this whole thing. So let's take a quick look to recap what happened and then I'll show you that, that advertisement in the program and, and, and I really think you'll get a kick out of it. All right, the story of Neil right. Snow and the Cornell game and beer ad traces back to a couple of letters that were shared with me uh, by a collector named Mark Bomia almost, almost 10 years ago now. And really through these letters, they tell the story of what happened. And I'll read the first one to you, uh, which, is, which is from Neil Snow uh, to this brewery. And he writes, gentlemen, enclosed I send your ad, which appeared in today's Michigan Cornell official baseball scorecard. I don't deny I drink Coppets Melcher's Pale Select about as often as I can get a hold of it, but there are people that didn't know it before. The sensibilities of the more unreasonably pur puritanical have been shocked and my reputation with them seriously impaired by this same ad. It didn't do me a bit of good, but it may have done you some. If you wanna make an awful hit with me and a few of my most intimate friends, do it in a very gracious sort of way. The best way to do it would be to send me a case or two of that same pale select Express prepaid to the address below. Very, very truly yours, Neil Snow, 556 South State Street, Ann Arbor. So from that, uh, Neil Snow makes an allegation, tells a story. There's no reason not to believe it. Um, and then we have the, res the response from the Coppets Melcher's Brew Company with their letterhead, which is beautiful. And of course, um, in a nutshell, uh, they say, hey, we have taken the liberty of expressing to you today a case of our celebrated Pale Select, more celebrated now than ever, and ask you and your friends to drink a bumper to our success. And, and they close the letter, you know, yours truly, Coppets Meltzer's Brewing. And so obviously they, they sent them a beer, which in and of itself is a fantastic story. Uh, but what I've never seen before is the ad in the Cornell program that caused this whole situation here with the, with the trade and all this stuff. Um, and what happened today is I got an email from my friend at the Bentley Historical Library who sent me this, which is the ad, and it is fantastic. Uh, so this is, this is what appeared in the June 13th, 1902 Cornell uh, scorecard or program, uh, a game played at Ferry Field, not in Toledo. They actually played in Toledo the next day. I think I said they played in Toledo on the earlier cast, but uh, but it's wonderful. Who? Snow, of course. When? Since childhood. Where? Any place it is sold. Why? To make me strong. What? Pale Select um, is fantastic with a big picture of uh, Neil Snow. And so this kind of completes a, a, one of my favorite stories that I've been telling for a long time on, in lectures. I've, I've recapped this story at least a couple times on, on WTKA on my This Week in Michigan Football History segment. And to actually see the ad that caused uh, these two wonderful letters was, uh, it really made my day. And, uh, you know, it reminds me why I love to do this stuff. So uh, just a shout out first to my friends, uh, uh, Brian and Greg over at the Bentley Historical Library. 
Um, of course, credit to Mark Bomia for originally sharing these, these two letters with me years ago. And um, I hope you get as much a kick out of this. As, uh, I hope you get as much of a kick out of this as I do. Uh, I think this is really fun stuff. Uh, so that's it for today's edition of the M. Victor's History Show. We'll talk to you soon.